Hey guys, Rolando from Red Moto. So today we're going to be working on this beautiful 2019 Hyundai Sonata. Yeah, Sonata. I was mistaken with Sonata and the Elantra together. Bro. So this one's going to be the Hyundai Sonata rear bumper removal. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on that push notification. If you guys need any prepaid auto body parts for your car, color match, ship right to your door, and ready for you guys to install with the help of this video, go to redmoto.com, your prepaid auto body parts store. The link is down below and up above. Go ahead and get started on this one. So on this car right here, as always, we're gonna start off on the side right here. So we're gonna have these two uh, bolts right here, or screws, right on the bottom right there. That's gonna be a T25. It's gonna have one of these looking things. It's like a star looking thing. It looks like a star. And then followed by these two up down here. Up here, you can barely see it because that sun. There's gonna be a push pin right there and we take that off with a fly head screwdriver. And then I'm gonna have something up here, this little tiny hole. If you put your finger in there, it's a little tiny hole. And there's probably a screw in there also. For the time being, we're gonna go ahead and take off those uh, Torx bits on the bottom. Right down here, it's gonna be a Torx bits. And I'm showing you guys this with these uh, hand tools because I know you guys have hand tools at home, but if you guys have like a power drill or a power tool, just do it, go ahead and use that, you know? Make your life a lot easier. So you guys can see right here, if you got a fly head, it's the same thing that this, is, this uh, tool has, but this one has two of them, make it easier for me. Very easy to take off. So what? this is what a push pin looks like, okay? And when it's depressed, it looks like that. See those uh, insert right there? Go ahead and take that fly head and put it in there. Twist it up, and then you can release it. You guys can see right here, there's another one right there that we have to take off. So let's see if I can take it off while holding the camera. Oh, Pittsburgh. that's what that push looks like. Now this thing kind of, see, this thing kind of goes back a little bit so we can see what that other screw is for. I'm gonna go ahead and take this cover back. Let's see what's back there. Oh, okay, see, like there's a screw back there. So this one right here, you can actually have a screwdriver. Take it off. Go ahead and push it back, but then go ahead and unscrew it off. All right, so that's that screw right there. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the other side, same bolts off that you did on the other side. You want to go underneath the vehicle right there in the middle. Oh, it's wrong, it's not in the middle. On the driver's side, you're gonna see this panel right here. You see all these push pins right here? One, two, I think there's only two. Only two. We gotta take those off. Okay. So we're going to take off these push pins right here. This is that cover. That's about it. That's it. Oh. Remember, it's right here to cover that I, I took those push pins off of. All right, so next step is we gotta pop that trunk right there because on this trunk, we gotta take off this tail light right here. You know, guys, comment down below. Let me know how you guys actually open up this trunk when you're in the outside without a key. I don't see any buns or anything. Is this it? No. I don't know, comment down below. I've never seen something like this before. Pop it open. There we go. So on this one right here, already kind of started on it. So on this angle right here, what you're gonna do is gonna take off these uh, push pins right here. And then once you guys take those push pins off, you guys can actually pull this back and there's gonna be screws back there. I think there's four of them and they're 10 millimeters and we take off the uh, tail light. So it's gonna be these two right here. Take those off. And these things look like this right here. Go ahead and take your finger and pull this back, just like that. Back here guys, as you guys can see, there's one, two, three, and then right back there, you guys can see there's the fourth one. Okay, that's gonna be a 10 millimeter. We go ahead and take that off. So you guys can see right here, you gotta have a push pin right there, and a screw that looks like a, 
you could probably just use a screwdriver. So these are these. Unscrew it. This one. The push pin. So you know how to do it. We did a few minutes ago. Okay. Push pin. Do that on the other side. At this time, I believe that's all we gotta take off, uh, bolts wise and also uh, push pin wise. So we're gonna go to one side. Remember, you guys have these uh, sensors, right? All these sensors right here. So you don't wanna pull too hard because if you pull too hard, you might actually yank the uh, the wire off, and that's gonna cost you more problems. So, so you already at this moment, let's go ahead and gently pull right here. You're gonna hear a click, so a little bit of force, but not too much. That dangling, we're gonna go to the other side and do the same exact thing. Not coming off for some reason. So let me go double check. Maybe I'm missing something. Let me look underneath. what we are missing so let me show you guys what it is so underneath right here guys i'm gonna go ahead and take this off right here let me see if i can take it off while filming yes i can so that's a 10 millimeter you're gonna take off because what's happening is that there's a clip underneath here let me just probably push it to the side all right as you guys can see we took off that cover right there not completely, but loose enough for us to go underneath the vehicle. If you guys go behind the bumper, you can see my flashlight. But if you guys go right here, this bracket right here has a push pin that we gotta take off. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I'm gonna try to film it while removing this push pin. Oh, see? It came off. See how that push pin came off? So there's two of them. I'm gonna take that off. Okay, so do that on the other side also. Three of these push pins, let's see, right there. One right here, one right here, and then one right here, and then my camera fell. So what it is, it's like the middle piece is just stuck on there pretty well. This, is, this bracket right here, it holds it on really tight. So I just put my fingers, loosen it up like that. That, of course, I gotta loosen it this side. Sensors, gotta be unplugged. So there's like fog lights. I mean, uh, lights for the license plates. Gotta be unplugged. All right, guys, so they go the rear bumper off of that Sonata. But let me show you guys. Man, this bumper is tricky. So there's going to be a plug right here. Just kind of unplug. And I believe it's this one right here. So for the sensors right here, all you have to do is come back here. And you press up on this one. And press down on this one. And you pull the uh, sensor off. There's a plug for this one right here and a plug right here and that's for the lights for the license plate and again you have a plug right here and you can unplug that one right there so here's the problem right so you guys can see I broke it and the reason I broke it is because it's in there and it won't release itself so it's like gripped on there really tight so what i did was i came here and unscrewed it and this whole bracket came off but you also have to take off this plug so actually what you need to do is get something to unplug it like this see just hold on like that then go ahead and unscrew it and that's the best method for this thing 
you guys can see this thing not to break and that's the reason why it has that groove right there and there's one on this side and then on this side i took off if you guys look down here there's these brackets right here right and that's what i was trying to show you guys these things held these push pins so you gotta have a fly head to wedge this thing up and those then it'll disconnect and you can take this off and that, that thing is held on on the bumper by these things that's the lower piece of the bumper all right guys i do apologize i know in the beginning of the video i said it's going to be a removal and installation of this rear bumper but unfortunately i can't install it because i forgot this bumper has to go back for repairs on that side so i'm going to send it down repair it and then uh, put this back on so on this video i'm going to go ahead and tell you guys thank you guys for watching if you guys have any questions comment down below but to reinstall this bumper if you guys are watching this video just do the same steps backwards okay it's pretty simple right but again thank you guys for watching if you guys need any prepaid auto body parts go to redmoto.com your prepaid auto body parts source go ahead and comment down below if you have any questions okay